Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update video. Um, next week I'm away on holiday. It's not really a holiday, it's kind of an expedition, but uh, it's in a way in a different country. Um, so I just wanted to make another video for you guys and then next week I can have the week off and uh, enjoy my holiday. I'm actually going to Spain. Um, I do live in England, so it's kind of my first trip over the age of 10 because I went under the age of 10. Um, can't really remember it, but this is going to be uh, an exciting trip for me, and it is part of my college, so uh, yeah. As you can see, um, we've got, well I've put some signs and stuff, um, and some fence posts, because we are down to the final two villagers. Um, somehow, zombies are getting inside. I have found that Zombies do collect up around this area, and if I hit them, um, th and it's night time, they do get uh, multiple spawns. So if you hit one, maybe one will spawn next to it, and then maybe it will spawn behind me, um, and it will go and kill us some villagers and stuff. But I've tried to sort that out, got all the uh, the lighting and all the fencing done, make sure that all the little gaps, um, so if like there's a block um, on this side, that they can't jump over it and walk over and stuff. Um, just the edge of this, I'll try and find one for you. Like this, this on the corner. Um, as you can see, the corner there. Um, I didn't want zombies jumping onto the corners and then uh, walking over. So I've done that. Um, done the walls. Done around about half on this side. I'll go and show you now. And I'll actually go and pillar up so you can see it. Um, done another tower on this side, I've made sure that that top of the tower matches, if you can see it, that top of the tower, because I want everything to be level, not off centre kind of style. Um, so yeah, I've just all week I've just been uh, grinding it out, make sure that the building is nearly done. Um, didn't really want to record it because I feel like building a uh, huge project, projects like this should be cut down into uh, small chunks instead of going through the, uh, the painful um, not building access but like getting all this stuff ready and stuff along that type um, so there it is at the minute what I've done I will show you in a second but uh, down at the bottom there just between those two um, stairs I've put glass and then um, I do forget what they're called I call them lighted pumpkins um, that's not the proper name for him, but I do forget what it's called. Just to give it that kind of glow at night, um, does stop mob spawning as well. Um, put a few torches around the entrance because that entrance there, if I do remove all the um, the fencing, and if I did have all the castle walls up and stuff, mobs would be able to walk through there. So I'd need to come up with an idea there. Maybe use carpet, and then like a kind of a ditch in the middle because zombies stop at that point well any mobs stop at that point um, because they think of the drop and they don't see the carpet as like an item um, I don't know if that's fixed in the local, in the uh, recent updates but uh, I think I'll definitely use that at some stage um, I'm just going to show you that uh, glass and then what we'll do we'll cut into um, me building it again. Oops. Um, like I said, I don't want to go through all the uh, the pain of watching me go through all the material collecting and stuff. So uh, I'll get half that wall done, and then I'll come back to you guys. But here it is. Um, just some glass over the top. Kind of wanted to match the colour of the glass, uh, the grass, should I say? Um, kind of doesn't match it, but it's kind of a greenish colour. Um, does stand out. I don't think there's any other colours green that I could use, so I just use that green. Um, but at the minute, guys, we're uh, just going through that process of sort trying to sort the server out. Um, we're a server that I think I don't know how much we pay. I don't want to release that, but uh, we do pay money to get a host um, server. So I don't know if that's for people who get lag on the server and it helps them. Um, I certainly don't get any lag from 
um, any certain hosts or anything. Um, and these hosts are just like, let's say like your internet in London or something, you're, you're connected to that. It's kind of like that and it's just hosting the server for you and then we pay for it. Um, just trying to sort out who's going to pay for it because at the minute only me, Jester Wish, um, has snow who are on the server and Pixie who's uh, the owner um, actually play on the server so just trying to find out what's going to happen there um, we have gone into discussion about um, trying to leave the server kind of just open it now and again um, maybe just close the host and just have it as a server just set up by uh, programs within your computer but I've downloaded the the map for it, uh, map for the server on my single player world. So if push comes to shove, and I do want to finish the series about this building and stuff, I can just uh, carry on with that world. I'll try and make it as creative as I can. Um, not to use creative all the time or at any point, because um, I, c I kind of see that's cheating. I just want to have that single single player experience. Hopefully the server doesn't go down because it is an enjoyable server when everyone's enjoying it. Um, and because it's coming up to summer, everyone wants to just feel like they, they either got jobs to do or you stay if they're working, they have got jobs to do, but um, they want to go outside and enjoy the sun. But uh, that's the end of that, guys. I'll uh, go and finish off a couple of walls. I'll definitely this side um, do some terrain on that side, and then we'll, I'll come back to you guys when I'm nearly done. Um, like I said, I don't want to include all of it. I will include some of it, but uh, most of it will be just getting all the materials because, as you can see, I don't have uh, any stone and stuff yet. So I'll see you in a second and then we'll see where we are. Welcome back, guys. So, uh, just finishing off a little bit of the wall. All I need to do is just uh, add a few stairs at the top and then we're about, we're about halfway. Um, done on this side so I will show you in a second but uh, I just wanted to go through a bit more about the server itself um, I've, ed I've enjoyed myself um, on this server it's definitely been a different experience to what I have had in the past um, coming from I would say a normal background I'm not saying that YouTube isn't normal, but it's definitely different when you're starting it up. Um, you're definitely shy. You you're not confident. Unless you are a confident person, then uh, that may fall into your category. Um, it's just about what you're going to do in your videos. Um, so it's definitely changed me. Um, as a person um, on the server not in Minecraft but being on the server it's definitely um, enhanced um, of what I do um, and doing YouTube it definitely gives you an insight of how others feel um, there was a video from Pyro um, if none of you guys know who it is um, is a member on the Minecraft server He's definitely underrated, I must say. Is uh, he does series such as Gmod? It's kind of a a mod where you uh, you can do hide and seek if you want to call it that um, as objects and stuff. Um, and he said that the comment section usually gets to him a lot. Um, so it definitely gives you an insight of how people feel on YouTube. Um, and if they put the hard work in, why people are disrespecting them and stuff. So starting YouTube for me is definitely an insight of how you should act um, to members on YouTube. Because I did say in the uh, in a comment section on Pyro's video that I was one of those people that would um, not slate people join the bandwagon of disrespected people. Um, I was only young, I must have been around about 12. 
Um, I have been on YouTube for quite a long time, um, not um, doing videos and stuff, but I have been watching people. Um, back in the day, uh, Machinima were up, uh, they had Hawk and um, Mr. Sark. Um, they were one of the big, big names. And then Woody's Game of Tag got back in, it got into it. I don't know how many years that ago that is. I was dreaming that uh, someone would correct me and say that was only a year ago, but I would say I've been on here for around about three years, something along that line. Um, so I've definitely come across people that have good YouTube channels and definitely have YouTube channels to uh, to correct and stuff or make better. Um, and as you're younger, you you kind of you, when you see other people kind of slating um, other YouTubers for not putting good content up, uh, when you definitely have like a couple hundred thousand subs and stuff, all those people can get to you. So, as I was speaking about the other video, if you are starting YouTube and you do get to that point, then you definitely have a you've got to have a strong um, not like kind of a shell that you put around you. Um, I think that's about the right. I think that's about the same size. Um, just to block away from negative people, because there are people out there that do uh, just post negative comments. Um, and for me, it's kind of. On, I'm on Twitter at the minute. Um, I, speaking about Twitter, I just want to thank uh, MK Savage One. I think it's at MK Savage uh, One. Um, he did my logos and stuff for me. So uh, I post them on Twitter. I do use them. So just want to thank you for that if you're watching. Um, but yeah, uh, back onto the pyro thing. It's you just got to not let your m emotions get in front of you. Um, I mean, Pyro doing a video kind of seems to me that he's let it get, get it to him and stuff. But uh, yeah, if you are if you are watching and you do post comments a lot on videos, or you do try and support, um, and if you are a person that puts a few negative comments, just all I think is just imagine if that was you in that position and you had I don't know. Let's say you're a, a, you've got a channel of 100 subs and you're getting around about 20 that are saying, oh, you're rubbish, you get off YouTube and all this stuff, or you you reckon the series like Pyro, Pyro did. Um, I just think that when, when I get put in that position, I just want to say, like, what? how would I feel if I was put in the situation of being hurt and stuff um, and having m my emotions... Um, played with and stuff so if you are kind of a person that posts comments just make sure that you are posting them decently instead of slating other people um, I mean I don't want to decide how people react on YouTube and stuff but it, you definitely see it when for the big YouTubers you definitely see um, comments and stuff that just aren't suitable um, and I think I do need to do some digging here so just cut into that um, so yeah the server hopefully it does stay up because uh, I do want to carry on with it um, do want to stay stay in touch with the people on the server um, I mean Jester Wish has been a big help for me um, I mean everyone's been a big help um, even you guys on Twitter and stuff and the people watching and people liking it just kind of puts you in that positive frame that you you're enjoying it. I mean, for me at the minute, I'm doing it as a hobby. Um, I don't want to go into full time because it kind of takes up a, a lot of time. I guess that will change over time if I do get used to it. But um, if I do get to the point where I do want to start it, um, then. Obviously, I'll try and get bigger um, through like media and stuff, and that's what I'm trying to do at the minute. Not get bigger, bigger, as in like um, a couple of hundred thousand subs, just like a thousand something, just to get me recognised. Um, try and get those people that actually want to watch, um, like sub to uh, get my videos and stuff. 
kind of an exciting time because as a a non youtuber in life um you kind of see that people actually um want to watch your videos even though the likes to be honest if i got like around about 3 likes on the last one it just kind of put me in the situation that i should be doing it instead of just going to the uh my video manager and just looking at it and uh, oh I don't want to do that again or anything along that line but I don't know blabber on about this too long um, just kind of passionate about how people feel and stuff just how you should realize that a lot of the time um, these people d have feelings as well so um, what I'll do guys I will end it here now um, I don't want to go through the grind of doing all this again. Um, so I will see you in the next episode and I probably will see you in a week's time um, back from my holiday. Um, do check Twitter if you do have it. I will be posted on there just to let you guys know how everything's going and how uh, what times and stuff I'll be uploading. I am looking to upload on Mondays um, on weeks and I've got a few games that I'm playing at the minute. Uh, which include Ghost Recon, DayZ, and War Thunder. Um, so I might post a couple of videos on the, on the Friday of those. Um, just depends. I'm, I'm looking to do one video a week. Um, just give it that time to get the views and stuff. But uh, yeah, just a quick little update video. Um, getting everything sorted now. Get everything going. Hopefully I'll get this wall done within a week or so. Get the two towers up on the corners. And then hopefully we'll have a building around the backside, um, and uh, make it look more a lot more stylish. But I uh, hope your week's been all right, guys. Um, I will see you in a week's time. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode.